Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania is the latest installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU. Directed by Peyton Reed, the movie brings back fan-favorite characters such as Ant-Man, the Wasp, and Dr. Hank Pym. It also introduces new characters and explores the mysteries of the quantum realm. With its blend of action, humor, and heart, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania is a thrilling addition to the MCU. The movie opens with Scott Lang, aka Ant-Man, played by Paul Rudd, on house arrest. After the events of Captain America, Civil War, he is trying to stay out of trouble and be a good father to his daughter, Cassie, played by Emma Furman. However, his peaceful life is disrupted when he is contacted by Dr. Pym, played by Michael Douglas, and Hope Van Dyne, aka The Wasp, played by Evangeline Lilly. They need his help to rescue Janet Van Dyne, Hope's mother and Hank's wife, from the quantum realm. The trio embarks on a daring mission, but they face obstacles at every turn. They are pursued by the villainous ghost, Hannah John Kamen, who has her own agenda for the quantum realm. They also have to deal with a new threat, Kong the Conqueror, played by Jonathan Majors, a time-traveling villain who wants to manipulate the timeline for his own purposes. One of the strengths of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania is its cast. Paul Rudd is charming as ever as Scott Lang, and he brings a lot of heart to the role. Evangeline Lilly is as badass as the Wasp, and she has some great action scenes. Michael Douglas is excellent as the gruff but lovable Hank Pym, and Michelle Pfeiffer is a welcome addition as Janet Van Dyne. Hannah John Kamen is a standout as Ghost, bringing depth to a character who could have been a one-dimensional villain. The new addition to the cast, Jonathan Majors as Kong the Conqueror, is also impressive. He has a magnetic presence on screen, and he plays the character with a mix of charm and menace. His performance sets up the character for future appearances in the MCU, and I'm excited to see where the character goes next. Another strength of the movie is its use of the quantum realm. The quantum realm was introduced in the first Ant-Man movie, but it was only briefly explored. In this movie, the quantum realm is front and center. We get to see the weird and wonderful landscape of the quantum realm, and we learn more about its mysteries. The movie also explores the idea of time travel and alternate realities, which adds another layer of complexity to the story. The action in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania is top-notch. There are some great set pieces that take advantage of the character's size-changing abilities. The movie also features some creative uses of the quantum realm, such as a car chase that takes place in a constantly shifting landscape. The action scenes are well choreographed and easy to follow, and they are a lot of fun to watch. One of the highlights of the movie is its humor. The Ant-Man movies have always had a light-hearted tone, and this movie is no exception. There are plenty of jokes and sight gags, and the movie never takes itself too seriously. Paul Rudd is particularly good at delivering quips and one-liners, and the movie makes good use of his comedic talents. However, the movie is not all fun and games. There are some emotional moments that pack a punch. The relationship between Scott and his daughter, Cassie, is a key part of the movie, and their scenes together are touching.